All right, day three of working on the Audi S4. The plan today was to actually get the car on the road. And in order to actually get the car on the road, I needed two filters. One is the, one was the main air intake filter to replace this style right here, about a K and N cone style filter, pretty similar. And I also need a breather hose filter for the breather valve. And I bought this one from AutoZone, but this is not the correct size. So I ordered one off of Amazon, which should come in sometime tomorrow night. So instead of trying to get the car running, I'm actually going to diagnose the Audi MMI infotainment system. So if you've seen my previous videos, you know that the infotainment system is actually not working at all. You see, when you put the key into the ignition and turn on the electronics, If anything, it'll pop on for a second. Let me hit the uh, actual radio button and it might pop on. There it goes. See, it'll pop on like this for maybe a couple of seconds and then it'll just go right off. It won't even come on. And this button right here is super, super sticky. See, pops on, goes off. So there's four options I'm gonna try to actually tackle this issue and hopefully one of these actually works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually try the MMI reset function. You have to uh, hit a specific set of buttons for this to actually works. So I'm gonna try that out first. So the first thing I'm gonna try to do to reset the system is just hold down the volume button for 15 seconds and then that might reboot it. Let's try that out first. All right, something's happening here. I'm still holding down the button also. And yep, that's been 15 seconds and nothing has actually happened. Uh, so next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn the car back off. Take the key out. Put it back in. Let's see if anything pops up now. All right, the next step I'm going to try is the force reboot. So all you do is hold up, you hold down the setup button, the right arrow on this side, make sure it's uh, able to click, and then you hold the center button down all at the same time. So, so set up the sensor and then the right arrow button all at the same time. Hold it down for about one second or so. Oh, that didn't work out right. So all the buttons are being held down. Nothing's happening on the screen. Yep, so that did nothing. All right, so that didn't work out at all. So I'm gonna check out the MMI fuse and see if uh, that's blown or not. So the fuse box is actually located right here in the passenger side dash. And it's under this panel right here. This should just pop right off and get some trim tools. There's also another one on the other side for other various functions. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this off. And this is the actual fuse box right here. So you just count up, it's just one, two, and in this middle one right here is for the MMI. We'll pull that one out. But also after taking a look, I realized that the number one position is actually missing a whole fuse. And that is the, the CD drive. So there should be something there. So I wonder if that's actually causing all the issues. But we're gonna find out pretty soon. But I actually don't have the correct fuse uh, amperage. I actually bought some 15 amp fuses. So these won't be able to go back in there. The MMI is actually rated for 5 or 20. I'm not sure what exactly that means, but I'm going to go ahead and get another, some more 5 fuses to replace those, and then we're going to pull them out when I get back. All right, so how exactly does this come off? Okay, just like that, apparently. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the number 3 fuse, which is for the MMI, which is 
this one, I believe. Let me check that again. One, two, three. So it should be one, two, and then this one right here. So this tool works. You just, all you gotta do is just kind of squeeze the back end of it. The front clamps down on the fuse and you just pull it out. So try that out. We'll squeeze down and just pull it right on out. Just like that. And what do you know? The fuse looks perfectly fine. So I guess we can slide that back in. I also want to check the instrument cluster fuse, which should be this one right here. One, two, three, four. Let's try this one out too. Okay. Yep, looks perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with this fuse at all. And I'm also going to disconnect the battery before I put that fuse back in there. Whew, took a little effort to get that off, but uh, let's go ahead and put the fuse back in. This is the instrument cluster fuse going back in. And then what I'm going to do also is add the CD player fuse and see if that makes a difference. So, wow, this is the absolute wrong size. All right, so here's the correct fuses. So let's uh, try this again real quick. All right, so this is going into position one. Perfect, just like that. All right, so now with the CD player fuse back where it's supposed to be, we can go ahead and connect the battery and try it out. All right, battery's going back on. All right, let's check it out. Yep, nothing, nothing changed. Up oh, here we go. And it just goes right off after this. Yep. All right, so the next option is to kind of, well, simply unplug a few of these wires for the audio system and replug them in. And then later on, I'll probably have to inspect them a little bit more thoroughly, but we're just gonna give this a shot real quick. All right, so I just finished inspecting all the wires and plugs on this side. Everything looks pretty good. Also went to the right side of the trunk to check out these fuses. There's some more Audi MMI fuses back here. This black box right here. Uh, I swapped the, this one right here. This is for the telephone. That was in the wrong spot, so I put it where it's supposed to be. And still, no luck with everything. So with that being said, <clears throat> I think my next option is to either fully take out the amplifier and see if there's any issues with those. The other thing I saw was one dude took out the whole uh, dash since these don't light up at all because he said he had spilled some fluids, spilled some type of liquid into the, the dash and that caused it to malfunction. So what I might do is take out the whole dash and then uh, clean the circuit board, clean off these buttons and then see if I can get some... Uh, something to happen. You can also replace the whole circuit board, uh, which is actually under this piece right here, or replace this whole dash piece, which is uh, a lot more expensive. So I'm gonna try those options out too. If you have any suggestions at all, please let me know down in the comment section below anything that worked for you specifically. Uh, I covered a lot of uh, different ways to actually solve the issue, but I'm thinking the circuit board might be the best chance to actually in the IO system to actually work. So other than that, uh, if you want to see more things about the Audi S4, what I'm doing to it, and uh, pretty much seeing it drive, about this on auction. And I'm pretty much just restoring the whole car from top to bottom. So if you want to see videos like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and drop a like on this video. Other than that, thanks for watching.